back to Zephyr Fishing. My name is Billy. For those who are new here, um, I guess in this series, I'll be fishing in New York, uh, specifically Montauk, and we're going to try to catch wherever we can. Today, we're trying to target porgies. We have um, some shrimp and then some clams. If you know porgies are not hitting, we might switch it off to some throws in some top water, some lures, some bucktails, and maybe try to get some bluefish or stripers. So. Let me unpack here, and then we'll go out there. First catch of the day, spider crab. A little creepy crawler. On the shrimp. Go, be free. There he goes. So this is what we're trying to target right now, porgies, and this is a dead one that is washed up. Looks undersized as well, they gotta be 9 inches. So far no luck yet, I'm using clams and shrimp, but they're not biting right now. Just walking the shoreline now, trying to find the fish, and there's a lot of porgy washed up here. Probably 6-7 inches. Don't know what's happening, but a lot of them washed up. Ooh, look at that. First fish of the day, here we go. We got, we got, he was throwing a bucktail. Got some head shakes, a lot of head shakes, so it's probably blue or a rock. Nice. Woo, we got some jumps. There we go. Took that bucktail with the pork rind on there. Oh, it's a nice one. Let's go. Good way to break the ice. Woo! Good thing we switched over to catching uh, or throwing lures because the porgies weren't hitting. Sorry, I've been using my phone this whole time to record because I forgot my GoPro in, the, in my car. Uh, so 
back at the car I'm gonna put the fish in the cooler and grab my GoPro here and then just catch and release from here on out because I caught my limit finally got my GoPro I'm gonna show you my setup it's kind of like a diamond jig but it's a spoon and then with the tail kind of eel like tail some uh, steel leader AF, uh, AFW steel leader 40 pounds and yeah, that's about it on my TFO 9 foot pen slammer 4 30 pound braid. Let's get some more blues, catch and release. Now that I got my limit. Here we go. Woohoo! Screaming. Right in front of me, too. It wasn't even that far out. He bit it right there. Jeez Louise. Time this drag a little bit. There we go. Wow, this one's big. Woo! All right, but let's get him in. Actually, we might keep this because uh, these guys haven't caught their limit yet. So. My hand it off to them. Wow, nice healthy one. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Gotta fix the tube. It affects the action in the water, so I gotta slide it back up here. All right, y'all, we're gonna wrap it up here, take a break, and maybe try again later because the major period already passed and they stopped fighting. So we're gonna take a break as well. Let me show you the conditions we fished today. Excuse my Cheeto fingers, but we were we caught this major period here in the morning. That's when the fish or the blue fish were, were uh, blitzing pretty much. And now we it's, from, it's pretty much over. As you see, it's like 1 p.m. now, so it's over. We're taking a break. Maybe we'll try fishing for porgies later here at the minor period, the low tide. We'll see. We're back out here trying to target porgies, but no luck yet, so stay tuned. May not catch any today. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the next video. Remember to smash.